Islam, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Double honors to the apostles that rule well. And peace and blessings to brothers out there that's kicking his word in sincerity and truth. I just wanted to come with a, a, a real quick sit down. Just uh, reminding brothers that we have to always fear the Most High. You know what I'm saying? And, and his power because we don't have it. You know, uh, fear is a is a fear is a good thing. It could be a good thing um, if it's used to uh, keep yourself in check, especially when, when dealing with the Most High, man. So I'm gonna get this for you, brothers. This is Proverbs 28 and 14. Happy is the man that that fears always, but he that hardened his heart shall find shall fall into mischief. That's right. When it's when the scripture's telling us that happy is a man that fears always, man. You know what I'm saying? That's and that's the fear that he's talking about. The scripture's talking about is falling into the hands of or, or falling off, man, and getting yourself into trouble, man. When you think you got it, man, you start dibbing, dibbing, and dabbing and dabbing a little too much and you look up and your ass don't fell out the truth, man, or you into some shit that you ain't supposed to, man. You know what I'm saying? So it says here that happy is the man that feareth always, but he that harden his heart shall find uh shall fall into mischief. And when you harden your heart, that really means your mind, man. When you when you uh become stubborn in this thing, man, you think that you got it, that's when those demons come and attack you, bro. And we live in a time so where, bro, you gotta be very careful to what you do or, or what you're doing in this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, there's turmoil uh, all around us, uh, whether it be uh, shoot, overseas or whether it be here, you know, in the U.S., man. You got this while ago, uh, what, two, three days ago, you had a cop, another cop, cops in Baton Rouge get popped in the head, bro. There's definitely nothing to play with, man. You know what I'm saying? You got these uh, Israelite groups on, on, on uh, the news now, you know. And you know that they're gearing up to uh, all that is just calling to pro programs just to uh, eventually target us, man. You know, it's time for us, well, it's been time for us to now more than ever pay attention to what the elder apostles and, and all our, our elders are saying, man. You know what I'm saying? Not harden, hardening your mind and getting your mind made up that you know what you're doing in this thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is Proverbs 12 and 1. Whosoever loveth instruction loveth and knowledge, but he that hates reproof, reproof is brutish, man. So if you a man that, that hates to be reproof, and you don't, it doesn't have to be, you know. Uh, when when we talk about uh, reproof and people not not taking reproof, uh, reproof, it doesn't have to be something that is blatant. You could actually sit there and, and agree with what the person is saying and not do, uh, and not uh, repent from from your ways, man. Now, the whole situation with the two videos, man, you got a lot of brothers out there that acknowledge that they're supposed to be doing two videos, but they're not. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know what I'm saying, another person is not doing the videos, another person slacking off. You quick to bite that person head off, man. That should not be so. You need to work on your goddamn self, man, and worry about getting on the chariot, man. That don't make no damn sense, man. It's time for us to wake up, man. Death is around the corner, man. And salvation is also, man. Which one you want, bro? Let's get this word brutish, man. The word brutish is uh, uh, bayar. Bayar. Uh, it means uh, brutishness, stupidity, brutish, a person, man. You know what I'm saying? So when you ain't taking reproof, especially from the elders, apostle. Especially from Apostle Tohar, man. You know what I'm saying? You being you being dumb as hell, man. You hating reproof. You being stupid, man. Wake the hell up, man. This thing ain't about just going out there on the highways and byways and talking about two thirds, man. It's about refining yourself, man. It ain't about either pointing out your brother's fault all the goddamn time, man. Jake think they righteous because they can point out somebody else's fault. Uh, he doing this and he doing that, man. You better wake up, man. You better wake up and see and see that the Lord is killing people, man. And stop playing for with y'all by the shimmy all the shot. For you get yourself smoked, man. 
you know, damn sense, man. This is Proverbs 23 and 17. Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of Yahweh all day long, man. That's right, man. We can't be worried about what uh, this man is doing, what he has, man. You know, you see a, a, a two-third out there got a nice car. You know, you might esteem to want that nice car, man. You might see a, a, a two-third and see his family like, man, that's a, you know, that's a beautiful family that he has. And esteem to have that family. You know what I'm saying? You might see a two-third uh, with a nice woman and esteem to have a woman like that or his woman. You don't need to have that, man. You need to be focused on your how by seeing you have a shot, man. Focus on having that fear, man. you rock. Of Yahweh by Shimei Al that that righteous fear, man, that reverence to uh, uh, the Most High, man, and what He could do to you, man. People forget, man. We put our hands to this plow, man. You out here half stepping, you know what I'm saying? You don't think the Most High could damn you, bro, for playing with this truth and this word, man? Wake the hell up, man. We all do. We include myself. We gotta wake up, man. This thing ain't no pit up. This ain't no. A, a, a party, bro. This ain't no, you know what I'm saying? No, he man, woman haters club, man. This thing is daily serious, bro. Bro, there ain't no way we gonna get out of this thing except for your hard body see me outside saving us, man. Do you know what they about to do to two thirds of our people, man? That's about to be massive killing, and we know this. We know this. We got the blueprint. We got we got the the game. Uh, 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 we got the, uh, the, the game plan, we got the, the, the book, you know what I'm saying, we got the scriptures, the instructions, we know what's gonna happen, man, it'll be foolish for us not to follow what's going on, you know what I'm saying, but then again, you got a lot of brothers out there that's consumed with that self, you know what I'm saying, making that self look good, man, you know, hey, man, it's time to wake up, it's time to wake up and work on yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get this last scripture, and I'm going I'm to get on out of here. This is uh, 1 Peter uh, 5 and 8. Be sober. Matter of fact, let me read up uh, 5 to you, uh, for you, brothers. 1 Peter 5 and 5. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourself un unto the older, to the elder. That's right, man. We're supposed to submit ourselves to the elder. Who is our elders, man? Well, you got the elders of GMS, man. That's been kicking this word, man. That are excellent examples, man. You know? When you go down there, you know, if you ever had the privilege to go down there, man, you see them in action. You see them working. They walking and how they talk it, man. You know, the person that, that comes to mind, and I ain't trying to, you know, name, big name and all that, man. Is you know, the uh, the, the elder not this out, man. He's, that elder right there be working, man. I'm talking about, man, you know what I'm saying? You see that, and you, 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 you're staying to be like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because he, man, that man work, man. And we got to do the same thing, bro. We got to work, man. We got to just put put your hand, your hands already to the plow. You might work, go to work, man. We building a foundation for you. How about shoot me out with shot, man? And we had the examples, man. They telling us how to, they, they showing us how to do it. So therefore, we got to do it. That's, that's, that's how you submit yourself. Yay, all of you be a subject one to another and be clothed with humility. Uh, for the most high resisted the proud. And give grace to the to the humble man. That's right, man. A lot of Jake brothers out there got to humble themselves, bro. You really think that doing a video here and there is good enough? And then going out there and talking down on people is good enough, man. That ain't good enough, bro. That ain't good enough, man. Humble yourself, therefore, uh, unto the mighty hand of the Most High, that he may exalt you in due time. And that's what we're waiting on, man. We're, we're, we're humbling ourselves so we can be exalted in due time, man. When is our time? When y'all about when y'all shot returns, man. That's when we're gonna be exalted and get those crowns, man. When we could really just sit back and chill. You know what I'm saying? But for right now, we gotta we gotta earn them straights, man. We gotta get up off our asses and, and work. You know what I'm saying? Being passionate about this thing, being on fire, you know? Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a world lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. That's right, man. The, the devil is out here uh, seeking who he could uh, uh, 
basically lead off that path into destruction, man. And any one of us could be that particular person, man. Any one of us, man. Ain't, ain't nobody set in stone that they just got it and you're going to make it on the charity, bro. Especially if you're a young man in this thing, like myself, man. We ain't got it, bro. We need to be always fearing, man. Always uh, remember why, why we in this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? This thing about ain't about being cute. This thing ain't about talking down and, oh, look at this motherfucker. Look at look at this person. Look at that. No, man. This thing is about doing what you need to do to get on the chariot, which encompasses uh, rebuking, but it also uh, encompasses doing the work, too, bro, and, and, and building up. And, you know what I'm saying? Extolling one another, too, bro. All right? So with that, I want to say all praises to you. How about Shim, you have a shot. Double honors to the apostles that rule well. And peace and blessings to you, brothers out there. That's kicking this word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.